I'm going to show you how you can play your own single player game so that you can test every spell, test every item, how to spawn in items, how to spawn in the game world with tons of resources. Let's get into it. This is mostly how to use admin commands and just mess around so that you can learn the game at your own pace, explore the whole map and so on. So you're going to click play and you're going to click private game. All right, so what you want to do is you want to set up the game server to have what you want to mess around with, okay? Uh, so with that said, uh, go to advanced settings here, okay? And then what you can do is scroll through here and you can just start changing things. Everything is set to default that you'll, you'll find currently on the live official servers. So you really don't want to mess with these kinds of things, but um, if you wanted to see how long it takes to like farm something, you could change the loot multiplier, then multiply it by five, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, but I'm not going to touch any of this stuff. The things that I will touch are things that make it easier for us to fiddle around and test the game world, okay? So what you can do is you can set the day length extremely low. Um, to 600, uh, that's day length, day time length is, uh, there we go, like Swedish winter. And what that'll do is it will only be one hour of in-game time. Hold on, let's let's make the day length very long and then the day time length very short. That's one hour of daylight, <laughs> okay? You can also change your health multiplier, like if you want to fight the in-game bosses solo but not have to die and respawn, you can crank this bad boy up to five times normal. And so instead of having 500 max health, you would have 2,000 max health or something like that, all right? Uh, equipment, uh, if you don't want to lose durability when you die and all that kind of fun stuff, you can mess with this. Uh, again, just go through these options, pick the stuff that you want to see, all right, and then you can select the rule set, all right. Uh, you can also do like PvE Dusk, level 70, this starts you at level 70. There's also easy mode for testing, uh, used for YouTube videos, that's exactly what I like to do. Um, that actually, this, this option didn't exist, uh, whenever I started, but, uh, Actually, no, wait, that's a rule set that I made. Never mind. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you a select rule set. I'll show you what mine set to. Okay, we're just going to scroll through really quickly here. I've just basically got it in five times multipliers on everything. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, unlocked research up to tier three. You can... Uh, there you go. So, I'm just going to go back because I already have a server um, where I do this on. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and join the game real quick. And then I'm going to show you all the admin commands, how you can spawn in items, how you can mess around with the game world. There's, uh, there's ways to teleport. Uh, if you want to explore, you'll have bat form unlocked. And because uh, I set the daytime to not hurt me, and the daytime is only one hour long, I can fly around during the day in bat form if I need to. I'm also going to show you the best controls to use for flying around in bat form, all that kind of fun stuff, right? Again, this is just for people who are new to the game. And they just want to, like, mess around with items and stuff like that, okay? You can mess around and, and test builds. You can build castles. Um, like, right now, I can build everything in the game. No resource cost at all. Like, I can just put down infinite chests if I want, right? I don't have to go farm wood or anything like that. I can make a pretty little castle if I wanted to get a nice screenshot for, like, a thumbnail or something. All right. Uh, but the cool thing is that I have all the spells unlocked if I hit J here I don't have to actually go and kill any bosses so I can I can like try whatever this is heart heart strike I could try that out crimson beam, you know, I can try all of these abilities uh, No problem. I can try it all the all the vampire power forms and so on Okay, so here's how you do it You're gonna go to options and you're going to go to general and you want to click console enabled But also you want to make sure that your the button above your tab key is not bound so I have that bound to auto run, so I'm going to take that off by hitting backspace, there we go. So now when I hit the tilde button, again, the button above tab, the button to the left of the one key. That's going to open this list. You're going to type admin, and it's going to pop in a list here. You use the arrow keys to select admin uh, auth, press space bar, then push enter. And now what that did is, is that gave me super admin. So what that means is now I'm the administrator of this server, and I can spawn in anything I want. So let's say I wanted to test... Um, some explosives right now instead of having to go uh, cr you know like put down production go to what is this crafting and put down an alchemy table which is how you would get the explosives and if I open the alchemy table I have minor explosives here for sulfur plank and whetstone instead of having to go farm that there's two things I can do I could spawn myself the sulfur plank and whetstone sure or I could just spawn the minor explosive box so let's do that I'm gonna hit open the console I'm gonna type give 
space bar, then I'm going to type explosive. Well, there we go. And it's going to pop up a list of every kind of thing that has the word explosive in it. So we have a major explosive box, item building, and a minor one, and then we have item building explosives T1 and T2. So I'm going to go ahead and select, highlight this with my arrow keys, and I'm going to push spacebar. That's going to put it into the command line, and then I'm going to push enter. And that's going to, you see, it spawned it right here in my inventory. So if I push up and enter, that gives me a second one. If I push up and then type in a number, I'm going to type in 10. That's going to give me 10 explosive uh, minor explosives, okay? Then I push tilde to close the console, and there we go. Now I can uh, I can mess around with explosives if I want, right? And there we go. So here's a, another interesting thing too. When you use these predetermined server settings, you get you get a sword, a mace, uh, a crossbow, and I think one other thing. You get a sword or that or a spear. Yeah, that's what you start with. Okay, you'll start with uh, these items here, but these are not the highest gear score items. There's actually slightly stronger items in the game, especially for your necklace. But you can always spawn that stuff in if you want. Anyway, let's just pop that. See how much damage it does. Uh, again, no damage because I have the server settings where I'm basically immortal, so I don't. I can mess around with bosses and see what their attack patterns are. Anyway, so let's talk about spawning in weapons. It's basically the same way. You don't have slashers when you use the predetermined server settings. Okay, you have to spawn these in. So you know, we know that Sanguine is the high tier version. So I can type give and then San. Gwyn, and then I can go through the list. We have axes, crossbows, face guard. Like, I don't know what that is, but hey, let's spawn that in. I I'm curious what the face guard is. So I'm going to go ahead and open my inventory now. And, um, well, it didn't work, so it's just a non- Oh, wait, no, it equipped it. We now have a little helmet there. I, I don't know if I can- Yeah, there we go. We it gave us a helmet. I automatically put it on our heads. So that's cool. If you know the- I Type give, and then if you know the item that you want, so, uh, let's say alter. Uh, workstation altar, uh, here, let's just spawn, I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but, uh, yeah, that gave us the book to learn how to construct an altar. Anyway, I don't really need that, but you, you get the point. You can totally spawn in anything you want, and then you can also explore the whole world in bat form, but it, well, I'm carrying resources, so I'm just gonna throw those on the ground. And then bat form is basically like a flight form. It lets you travel anywhere on the map, okay? It takes a little bit to charge up, but once you're done, ta-da! Now we're in a bat form, we can zoom in, and we could actually manually look around at the game world and see where everything spawns at. So here, right down here at the bottom where my mouse cursor is, that's a sulfur node. So if I wanted to be very meticulous with my uh, mapping, since uh, websites haven't fully done this yet for us, uh, I could... You know, print screen a map, right? And then open it up in MS Paint, and I could put a little X here where I'm at and be like, there's a sulfur node. And then I could fly around the whole map and be like, there's a sulfur node here, there's a sulfur node there, there's a sulfur node there. And then when I jump into multiplayer, I will be able to speed farm sulfur nodes without having to travel all the heckin' way over here and get it for myself at the sulfur quarry, right? That's just another little trick how you can get an edge over other players by, you know, doing your due diligence and your research and, and your, uh, you know, just uh, just your studying. Now, here's the thing. While you're in bad form, you definitely want to use uh, Auto Run because it makes traveling the world so much easier. Um, and I'm also going to turn off the console because I use this, I, I use that, but I use Tilde for my Auto Run in every game. So I would just turn on Auto Run and you could see here's my character just traveling across the world, right? Um, so yeah, uh, very cool stuff. You can also test respawn rates. Uh, for instance... Uh, if you chop down a tree, how long does it take to respawn? How long does it take for a, a mining quarry to respawn? They recently just added this right before filming. They sent out a patch just today uh, that uh, shows us how to do that. So here's, here's an example, right? Uh, I actually have to turn console back on for this and unbind auto run, which is fine. Just a few button t taps. Give explosive. And we'll use the tier 2 one because why not? That's more fun, right? Using the bigger bomb. There we go. Throw that bad boy down. We don't really need the bigger one to pop this, but it's just, again, it's just more fun. I don't know why I'm avoiding the blast. Okay, that. Really? The bigger explosive did not destroy this rock. I didn't know that. I don't think anyone knows that. See, look, look what I just discovered. <laughs> the big explosive. It's it's not even being used up in my inventory either. That's also odd. A little weird, isn't it? Here, let's uh, 
Let's get the tier one then. Yeah, there we go. We'll use the tier one because I know this one blows up stone quarries. Um, you know, I actually blew this up in, a, in another video, so it shouldn't exist. Okay, uh, the game world's being a little buggy, but um, I can't explain why that is. I have no answer to that. Bombs are supposed to explode these things. Okay, but we can go into bear form and smash it, and then we can see how long it takes to respawn, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. There we go. We smashed the rocks. It's gone. That one's gone, too. We don't get the resources, though. I don't know why bombs didn't work on that. That's weird. That's very weird. Maybe it's a server setting I goofed up on, because on the officials, it works fine. Okay, so now we can, like, do something like pass the time. I'm just going to type time, and uh, you can see that there's a command called add time. Uh, you could also type list. And it gives you a huge list of everything you can do. Like, you can teleport. Uh, you can set set your uh, <laughs> levels and kick. You can kill things. You can... Yeah, that's right. You can open the console and kill whatever you want. You can... There's so many things you can do. But I'm going to mess around with the add time function. So if you, ha if you have servants and you send them on missions, you can now use the console to pass time. So I'm just going to do add time. And this is how many hours pass. So let's go 12 hours pass. Boom. Add time 12. You can see, uh, it's just jumping. Uh, how many how many days until this respawns, right? Will it ever respawn? I know it took like two real life days on an official server for these rock quarries to come back. Um, it doesn't seem to be respawning though, even after like several in-game days. Now when I said two real life days, that's like what, 10 minutes on a r real server? So can I add time like 2,000? He has to be 12. Okay, the game will tell you. So we can just da, 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 just add a bunch of time, right? Just hammer it out. Whoops. Let's see how long until this respawns. You can see the rocks went away and disappeared. The item bags are still there. Uh, again, this is just uh, this is just a mess around. I thought it would be real lifetime because uh, that's <laughs> that's how the um. Whatchamacallit, that's how the servants work. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Go make your own server. Go mess around with bosses. It unlocks every single thing. You can have all your buildings unlocked. You can mess around, check things out, see how stuff works. Uh, see what buildings you like, what you don't like, what looks pretty and what doesn't. Uh, and if you're a YouTuber like me, you can use this to make videos much more easier than jumping on a live server and grinding for hours at a time. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just that easy, right? Like, I can... Totally use this little area to like demonstrate skills and abilities. You can play with all of your spells. You don't have to go watch a YouTube video for hours to see what Spectral Wolf does. What does Spectral Wolf do? It throws a wolf out. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, anyway, guys, that's hosting your own little server to mess around with the game. Spawn all the items you want to see what the skills do and stuff like that. Uh, if, you, if this video helped you, if this video saved you time, which it should save you time... Uh, you know, leave a subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, just anything, man. Just, just any little, little thing really, really helps out. Tell your friends, man. Come on back tomorrow for another video. I make videos every day on this channel, so, um, don't, you don't want to miss out. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're, uh, if you want to help me out monetarily, there's a thanks button that you can give me a tip. And, uh, there's also a join button if you want to give me $5 a month. It's like being subscribed on Twitch. You get access to private personal videos. You get access to special emojis on YouTube that you can post in people's videos. And uh, it's just really cool. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow.